Hello world. Hello India. Hello all the wonderful people out in YouTube. We are in VR today. <laughs> and uh, we are going to be trying to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. I will say having more than one moon seems kind of cool. Um, that's OBS. That's set up to stream. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm just checking levels here. Just turn the game audio down a bit. And uh, let's get into Flight Simulator and see what's what. Today's adventure is going to be the recreation of a classic uh, World War II route over the eastern Himalayas called the Hump. One of the most dangerous uh, airlift operations in military history. Um, at least 500 people died flying that route. Uh, as you can see on our map, this is the route. It would be supplies would come in via ship uh, from the US. They would land at Calcutta or Khulna, the port of Khulna in Bangladesh, and then be put on barges and taken via backwaters up the Brahmaputra River, past Shillong to a place called Shabua. Uh, this was an old military airport. And uh, from here, uh, this is near Dibruger, Assam. So that's Dibruger right over there. The Dibruger VOR is 117.3. Just making a note of things. Um, writing it down. So our route of flight takes us out of here and to our first radio beacon, uh, a beacon called Putao. You know, we'll cross over these little and come across our first set of mountains. And as you can see, um, it's pretty rocky going. There are some gorges you can fly through at low altitude if uh, you so desired but it's definitely not easy and picking your way through these mountains and stuff so that's our first uh, nav aid it's a simple non-directional radio beacon it broadcasts a single frequency you tune your radio to it and point to where it's where it's heading then we have a vor the linjiang vor um, which again to, before getting there we have to come up some pretty steep mountains here uh, this whole area is generally avoided by aircraft, even today. All the air routes go around it. Um, this is Yongshan country. Um, nothing much to do except, you know, track outbound from that BOR until we pick up the inbound BOR here. And then that leads us uh, into our fix, which would be this one, uh, before we come up on the localizer approach to uh, Kunming. So, route of flight, hour 50 minutes, uh, 464 nautical miles. Uh, let's see how we do. This airlift was one of the most dangerous operations in the World War history. Um, so many airmen died, aircraft and material were lost. At one point they were doing at the busiest day, there were 164 flights in a 24-hour period, or 132. I think a record that has not been surpassed since. Charlie Alpha traffic ATW 86 taking off runway 2 tree west departure. We want to simulate this flight uh, as realistically as possible. So we're going to try to take a full load over to China today. And for that, uh, we got to get some things set up. So... And I have my cursor back, so without further ado, see that, I can see that, there we go. We have a power unit on, so let's turn our power on. That one. Well, the plane thinks you have I have power now because I turned off my flashlight. Get it. 
Yes. So I want lights first. There. There. Let's try this again. Lights. Turns up. Normal. The common size stuff. And I just switch it on. Up. First of all, maintenance. Uh, we have everything set up to full realism. So we need to make sure our engines are fine. The long flight. Up, 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 water and alcohol, yes, we want those top to do. We are going to be flying high, everyone needs superchargers. So that's all taken care of. Next thing we want to do is make sure we... But it's some cargo holes all open. Big jobs are set. Heaven stairs. You see them open. There now you can see how the doors open. I can actually uh, get up and walk to it and show you. So, take a peek out, the steps are down, and then we can come back to our seat. There's our cockpit, all set up and lighted. Our hatches are open, we need to start loading cargo. Get back in my captain's chair here. Situated properly. There we go. Next comes with loadout. No, 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 we don't want that. More than enough, and we are going to fill our plane to the top. It gives us a takeoff rate about 96,000. You're all loaded up. Let's take a look outside. Uh -huh. Ground crew is pretty effective. They've done their job. Looks like everything's all ticked and tied. Beautiful thing. Checklists, start of items. Engineer, what's that checklist, please? Set. 
hold it, duct pressure. Checked. Radios. Checked. Doors and hatches. The doors on us. Closed. Door warning lights. Out. Gear pins. Removed. Three on board. Seat belts and pedals. Adjusted. Throttles. Set to idle. Propellers. Forward and three. Four start checks complete. Start engines. Hey. We can start these ourselves. He's got it all set up for us. Just, uh, he doesn't always do everything though. Just making sure all our engines have gas in them. That's gas checked. Those are set forward as they should be. All the set forward in the normal position. Engine 3. Magneto is on. Engine 3 boost pumps are on. We have fuel flow and fuel pressure. So we should be good to get cranking. No, oh, no, I don't want that. Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, hey. ah, this is the issue. They're cold. They're a little temperamental. Oh, we are going to set three, stay on, still have pressure, still have pressure, and we should have spark, so let's try this once more. Three, six, nine, twelve. We have one to start it. There we go. That's progress for you. Wait for this to come back normal. And we can turn that off. Start engine 2. Three, six, nine, twelve. Again, one. What is your issue? Everybody has fuel. We have fuel. One, two, three, four. And number two has fuel. Number two has spark. So 
once more. Three, six, five, twelve. That's the key. Put it on your mic. Starting one. Number four. Come on, baby. Coming up nicely. There you go. Number four, warming up. Look good, these look good. Too cold. Too cold on that side. I'm sure they warm up soon. In here, that's raising. Okay. After start getting this pumps. Off and off. Battery switch. Plane benching. Generators and inverters. Checked and on. Emergency lights. Armed. Ground power. Removed. After start checks complete. So here we are, we dispensed with all the button pushing and so on just to get totally configured. It's a beautiful morning and we are getting ready to go. It's a lovely aircraft. Uh, there's tons of switches and lights, the lighting, lighting is not a problem. We can turn on lights here lights up here let's do let us see now this gorgeous plane now you know why pilots love to have watches with lots of buttons and knobs on them um, so we're sitting here on the runway it doesn't look like we've done our takeoff checks so let's take a look. Let's fix our loading first. And let's, we want to simulate a full load. The fuel we have is adequate. Stop before takeoff. Engines are good. Fuel selector and cross feed. Main tanks and cross feed off. Autopilot and Corbett. Off and cold. I'm really getting to like Microsoft Flight Simulator now. Look at that. What a picture. I'm going to take a picture of that. Check. 
Take-off maps. Bridge unlocked. Set. Transponder. On. Landing lights. Hey, please turn them on. Let's make sure we are all set to go. Get our seat adjusted. Light controls are working. These are our parking breakers, our flaps are down. Let's tell him to Water wet attention. take off. We are taking up to the west, we have to go due east. Here comes the power. Love the sounds. Turn them up a little bit. Cal flaps. Cal flaps. Cal flaps set. Full power, please. Going full power. And we're gonna just watch it and trip the brakes once he gets past 50 over here on those needles. Alright, we're off. Whoa! Full power set. Here we go, we're going to use the full length of the runway. Airspeed is alive, rudder is active. A bit more play on the air program now. Come on, come on, stay straight, stay straight, nose up a little, and we're off. trim now. Power's coming back and set, set it climb. Trim it down a little bit more. See the One speed coming set. up. Have to take off checklist, please. Autopilot Auto engaged. Checking to see he's all right. Climbing fine. Maybe a little too fast.
a lot of it is making sure the airplane is set up the way you want and then it just flies itself we are just a little too high on speed that should be around 165 Just trimming us up. We're really heavy. I think that'll do. We carry a little bit of speed into it. Start our turn. Left or right? Left, I think. Come on to 90. Smartish. Love the way the sunshine is going. Chabua. shooting should get us nicely down to 90 or thereabouts that's still not active and we still have yet to tune it let's do that first let's set our flight altitude Seventeen thousand feet for us today. Okay, it's pressurizing. Ah, radios. You know, radio. set and then Li Jiang is 113.7 leaving the river behind Lovely morning. Then we should be heading towards that bright orange ball in the sky. in any hurry to get to the mountains yet. Might as well up bring up the blue guard on nav one. 117.3 That'll give us a radio to track outbound receiving it. It's very odd.
flags. So right now we have no instruments we are flying blind. We have that sun that we are looking at. And let's just uh, make sure we are good there. Yeah. Turn down the external volume so we can have a conversation. Things are going on nicely, our power is still fine, rate of climb is still good, everything is healthy. That all might change. We're doing okay as far as you know, if that would come alive, that would be helpful. Speed still coming off. Let's lower our rate of climb a little bit. beginning to see some scenery now. track right into the sun. Let's do that. Right. Right in our face. Twelve miles from the river, so at least we uh, twenty miles from the river. So at least now we know did we pick up a tailwind? We suddenly went from one sixty to one eighty nine, now it's going down. One eighty eight. Forty miles from the river. Still stubbornly quiet. It's my GPS, set on GPS. Yeah, that's why. We are local I want. Let's put that in here as well. That 
this we don't know what radio we are on. Ping. That's much better. We have a nav indication now. We are on the 90 100 degree radio number, which is pretty accurate. As we move further north, we should see that line move to the right. Coming up on 12,000 feet. We level up at 15,000 and get some speed and then decide to move. Probably thinking, this doesn't seem so hard. Does it? What's dangerous about this? We'll see. But looking down, right now, I mean, if things go south, you will still try to ditch in a river somewhere. But over there, it's going to be a different story altogether. I love the way the sunlight is coming off the props. Right, someone has done a really good job with their lighting engine. Altitude lock. And let's tell our AFE we want cruise power now. So quiet our RPM, we'll come back to 30. Our air speed seems to be fine. Not the fastest. Flying the hump. We'll take pictures at all the waypoints. Putao, Ninjiang. Keep it quiet. Boy. That is not supposed to happen. Some bug in the software. Let's cruise at 30. And our RPM came out very high all of a sudden. Slowly take it down. I don't want to over boost our engines.
just baby the plane along Just matching both engines, sides of the engines to the same power output, though it doesn't look like it's working very well. Our air should, airspeed should be increasing. When you can see we have stuff ahead of us. I'm going to turn on the superchargers now. Bring them down. Take them to low, no high. Superchargers grown low to begin with. Power on the right side, a little bit off. Left and right sides are not developing equal amounts of power. But higher speed is going up nicely. Um, still tracking to our ADF. And now you can see why there might be some issues with this route. We are going to need to climb again. Now that is spectacular. Beautiful. Here we are. Coming over the ridge. A 
that is a nice highway follow that river down and then try to get some altitude to crest these mountains but if you don't have enough it's going to be a pretty bleak affair Thank you. We will go to Pipa Tango, Papa Tango, Pipa Tango, Papa Tango, as planned. A little bit of a plateau, I would say. Valleys, and then a whole different set of valleys coming up ahead of us. Any joy on our radios? Yes! We can dispense with the ADF now. And we can ask plane to track the localizer or VOR in this case. VOR at radio directly to it. Go 
good indication from both. Just want to make sure we are good from a terrain perspective. Where are we headed? And what are you doing, autopilot? I guess you're trying to settle down on your bearing. But you are not doing a very good job to it. Hmm, is that wind correction? I wonder. That much of a wind pushing us to the right? No. It's just the autopilot being boneheaded. Now it's picked up the track. <coughs> Thank goodness, I thought we were going to have to wiggle to avoid some of these peaks here. But we might make it. Uh, snow on those mountains. No more snow on these. Doesn't look like we have anything much to worry about. And it looks like we're doing good tracking our VOR. Half an hour to go. Hundred and fourteen miles. Now that is cool. I wonder what those mountains are up to the distance. Boy, this place is really, really heavy. Looks beautiful doing its thing. getting used to the flight simulator view system and what's up in front doesn't look very inviting does it can you imagine doing this in bad weather at night in a thunderstorm during the monsoon season 
we'll try one of those as well but I just wanted to fly the route once and get familiar with it so think of me as a rookie Our strategy is working 95 miles to Lijiang But I do see some vertical obstructions ahead. Maybe we can scoot through the gap. Actually, you know what? I don't like all this constant banking and turning. We will, once it comes back, level again. It's going to flick it back here. Tell it not to turn. Let's see what happens. So much of flying is just watching the needles. Chengdu is a restaurant in Shrewsbury that serves Chinese food, but I doubt if the people from here would recognize their food as being native to their province. This is just jaw-dropping. Look how close we are to the tops of them. A water head. We'll clear them. But we are pointed right at some pretty big peaks. Might have to dance around them a little bit. interested to see what's in this valley. I see roads, so there must be people living here. Especially that one. That looks like the where the airplane's nose is right now. The crooked road in San Francisco. There's one in China too. Maybe it's a copy. <laughs> uh, no, there is. Uh, there are people here. Wow, what a cool place to live in. And I do wonder how they get their supplies upriver. But, uh, oh yeah, now it's getting interesting. We should still be okay. 